Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me. My name is Marlene and I am with A Room to Bloom. So I just uh, did a reading and I thought that I would get on and share the reading because I feel like there's a message that needs to come through for uh, some of the collective here and I hope that this is helpful for you on your journey. So the um, first thing that came through is that I've got these cards and they're, um, they're basically they're astrology cards. Okay. And so, um, the first thing that I did is I pulled the, um, the planets. Okay. And so the first planet that came up, it, the moon is included in there and I'm just going to go across and read the cards. And then I pulled Capricorn, uh, for the sign, the house is the first house and the, the, it came out in the format of being a square in astrology. So what we have here for the message is that someone is in their feelings. Um, the moon can be a Scorpio, okay? They're in their feelings. This um, speaks of um, the energy of the moon um, speaks of someone, or if you're thinking about a Scorpio, maybe someone who has strong instinct, who is nurturing, who responds um, on a gut reaction. You know, it's funny. I have to adjust this. I'm not sure why my uh, uh, <laughs> camera is doing that. But anyway, um, anyhow, so we have the, they respond kind of gut with their gut reactions. They might um, be like enjoy comfort, right? Have digestive issues, um, something going on with the home, family. This is why they could be in their feelings, right? Um, something about conditioning, conditioning others, being conditioned to themselves, habits, um, femininity, their lineage, right? So ancestral um, patterns, they're very private. They could be um, emotional about their privacy, right? Um, you know, the feelings can be someone who is having high or low moods, whatever, their moods are varying, right? could have to do with the mother because the, the moon cycles are tied to a woman's cycle, right? So motherhood. Um, but the moon can also be self-soothing, right? So I'm going to go a little bit further here. So why are they, so who's in their feelings? And even though the moon is like a Scorpio, what I'm seeing is that this could be, it's the energy of a Capricorn. So someone who's kind of the boss, the Capricorn is also known as the devil energy, right? Um, it's someone who's serious, authoritative, ambitious, realistic, structured, traditional, wise, enduring, accomplished, majestic, competent, prepared, down to earth. It could be a corporation, right? Um, some a situation where there is um, someone being reserved, rigid, or disciplined, right? So somebody who is kind of being in their devilish energy. So we have the boss here, right? So you could have a boss that is in your feelings, their feelings, pardon me, okay? Why are they in their feelings? Because the first house speaks of the self. They're thinking of themselves and they're not thinking about, um, everyone else. And when you land in the first house, it's not, it's not about judgment. This is not what it is. When you land in the first house, um, there's something about the self that they're focusing on, right? So this can actually talk about like the body, the outlook. What is your self outlook, your self image, right? So, um, there can be ego with that. What is your, your life's philosophy? consciousness, opinions, awakening, like spiritual awakening, self-awareness, arrival. So like it's kind of the gate to coming in, right? Expression, it's the gateway or the entry point. Um, and I'm going to go a little further. So again, this comes out as a square as far as alignment in astrology. And under square, the word is challenge. So basically, then what is the challenge? So um, I'm going to go across before I read that again. So we have uh, potentially a Scorpio who is in his feelings because he's actually the boss. He's um, in his devilish energy. Um, 
because he's there's something more about the self here um, that the focus is and it's presenting a challenge this challenge it creates tension stalls sounds alarms motivates pressures into frustrates demands struggles reorients hurts works out and then reconciles right so this going back and forth energy okay so now i want to tell you what cards came up underneath that so when we look at the moon why is someone in their feelings so the card that came up is the eight of cups all right i could show you this one here i didn't hold that up so that's the moon and so why is someone in their feelings somebody because somebody has walked away the cups represent emotions right um, somebody has walked away from a situation who has walked away we're showing somebody who's in a nine of Pentacles position someone who's kind of just been able to enjoy themselves in life at this point right um, and so then I asked what what else do I need to know about this boss? What, what else can you tell me about this situation with this boss energy, right? Um, so remember that somebody walked away and that under the moon, it talks about home or family, right? Conditioning, habits, lineage. Um, so, so what can you tell me about this? What are they the boss of, right? They could have been, you know, head of household, right? The four of wands represents a home or uh, uh, it represents a home, really, I, I, usually a happy home, right? But what happened in this situation? Why, why is this person so in their feelings and so affected about this home? Because there was some sort of a betrayal with the seven of swords, okay? All right, and when we look at the first the first house again, all about the self. Well, what is going on with this with this person who's in their feelings in this boss energy? Well, now they are in what is called a dark night of the soul. They're having a hard time sleeping. Right? They're going through something that is really tough. Now the question is, what are they going through? Well, a Knight of Swords is someone who comes in rushing in. And if you can imagine them waving their sword around because they're riding in so fast, the sword, when you take the S off, leaves words. The swords are about our thoughts, right? And it's no surprise that it fell under the Nine of Swords, right? Because they're all in their thoughts. So they could have come into a situation or it may have been rushing with their words and they may have said hurtful words because swords hurt, right? It's sharp. The words are sharp. It's not loving like a cup and emotional and soft, right? It's different. So, so they may be regretting what they said, okay? And that's why they're in a dark night of the soul. Now, when we look at this challenge, um, who's challenging this person? Who is challenging them? We have a queen of pentacles, someone who is able to stand in their um, independence. And what do we what do we know about this queen of Pent pentacles? She is very strong. She is in her strength. She could potentially be a Leo, um, but does not have to be. But she may may um, be a formidable opponent. Okay. Um, now, when we look at, well, what's the outcome of this situation, okay? Well, the outcome is, is that this person is feeling like a wounded warrior. They have a bandage on their head. They've been going through it. They have been going through it. They're tired. They've been through a lot. They've had a lot of lessons, a lot of challenges. They've been wounded, but they're still standing, right? We're not at the ten of... Uh, Ten of uh, wands yet, and those wands are all about action. So if you can kind of imagine someone being at battle, because there's a lot of action, right? Um, that's kind of the outcome. But I asked for a little bit more information on this, um, so I could get a little more clarity. 
And what happened, what came up is that we have the Page of Wands. So this is saying there might be communication coming in of some sort. The pages are messengers, right? Um, so watching for text, letters, whatever, some type of communication is coming in. Um, to let, to let someone know that they have been trying to defend themselves in a situation. Now, what I'm getting is that, yes, who, who were they trying to defend themselves from? A queen. There is a, um, a queen of wands who is someone who's creative, um, an action taker, right? And Queen of Wands energy does not have to be a female, but someone who kind of just embodies that energy. Um, but what I'm getting with this sun card is that they actually may live somewhere where it's very sunny, okay? Um, so they were defending themselves someplace where it was very sunny. I mean, the sun was shining. Actually, interesting, there is a child on this horse too. Um, so could have been defending themselves um, regarding a situation with a child, okay? Um, it has something to do with this Queen of Wands. And what happens is um, they want to come in and make some sort of small apology. This, this is like the card of Pisces. There's a fish in there. And this page offering a cup, it's like a, a some type of small apology. But um, they're embodying more of the King of Swords energy. It's a small apology. They're going to tell the truth, but they're not going to do it all warm and fuzzy. And their words might hurt. Whatever kind of comes across like that knight that came rushing in, right? So, you know, again, interesting, hurt people hurt people, and they may not even intend to do that because they have been through it, right? They're tired. They've had a formidable opponent. Um, watch her message coming in. They're trying to explain what the situation is. Even though they're going to make an apology, it's not like their thing to do that. Um, so take it for what you will. Um, on the subconscious, we have the world, meaning that some cycle came to a completion, okay? Um some cycle came to a completion so someone may want to come in for new love um, start a new creative adventure and yes they want a, a new beginning with the fool card um, they're going to be bringing in a message or bringing in they're going to offer something some type of earthly thing up the pentacles represent something earthly and this will be coming in quickly with this eight of wands right this is about you'll get communication coming in quickly regarding this um and it's and it could be communication that comes in uh, from a king of pentacles actually showing that someone has moved away from a situation with a six of swords. So I thought I would share that message because I don't know, it was just kind of a lot tonight. And I, um, if this is your energy, it might be helpful for, for whatever it is that you are going through and are experiencing, understanding that it is an experience, um, an experience. You are not your emotions, right? We are here having soul lessons. Um, and many times we feel like things are happening to us, but really we are experiencing them. So that's it. I want to say thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great um, rest of the day.